stand up for what you believe in or stand up for nothing at But whether you believe in what I believe in or whether I believe in what you believe in is not in void. But we come as a whole. So for you to say, oh, you know what, you get out, and for her to say, no, you get out, it's a bunch of nonsense. Either we're together in this or we're not. And that's why if anyone's going to be told they cannot be here, we will do it. Not I say you, not she says he. I mean, that's if the General, General, Assembly General Assembly votes that an individual or a group is just not part of the occupation, then we are empowered to vote that. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. What about the guy that's just having a bad day? Okay, the guy that's just having on, a bad day will probably not please. do anything nearly bad enough to get everyone in the room to agree he needs to go. We have a lot of patience. We have a lot of kindness. I'd like to even think sometimes we have love for each other. But that's not accounting for bad days, I know. Okay, I have a point of information over here. Point of information? It's a question of the knowledge of the psychopathology of the human being. You know somebody by their actions. When somebody consistently doesn't contribute anything to the movement, but they consistently cause problems to everybody on a consistent basis, then you know who that person is. That person should not be allowed to further disturb this movement. If there are extenuating circumstances, like I like to have non-consensual sex with people, or I'm super hostile and aggressive, or I'm an informant, or some kind of bullshit, then I think there should be extenuating circumstances to remove someone like that from the bunch. However, under normal circumstances, it's not okay to get rid of anyone. And we have to break that down. I absolutely motherfucking agree. You're agreeing, That's man. why you're you'll shy. have to convince 90% of the fucking movement that someone's gotta go if they gotta go. Okay, next person on stack is... Um, I'm concerned, um, mostly that you, you've come up with this process and it's, or, well, you haven't really actually, it's just this proposal first before the process comes, but that you're you're going to be so willing to take people out and you're not actually willing to deal with that person. Now, if that person, which will be addressed in friendly amendments, um, is, is a big issue, then we should vote or figure out what we can do with that person. We don't need to say, okay, you know, we're going to make these unilateral exclusionary things and you know you're out and if, if it's this this and this because this is like so corporate just get shit done this we don't need this just get done what you need to get done that's my concern is that this is going to turn into a flowery thing like okay well you didn't adhere to my you're out that's my concern i don't want to follow someone to the clipboard and say you checked off that box checked off that box you checked off that box you're done but i do think that it's very important that we have something to hold someone accountable somewhere because without that, no one is held accountable anywhere. I agree, but However, you not, not without a right. method or a proposal or some structure to get shit done, all we have left is the angry mob. Okay, so we're gonna move to the next person on staff. In certain, certain areas, we do agree, but certain areas we do not agree. Just because I don't agree with all your, your views, you have no right to kick me out. And just because you not agree, I don't agree with you, I don't have the right to kick you out. I might not like you or my like, might not like your view, but because we are part of the 99%, we gotta put up to, with, with each other. That's what the 1% are saying. We don't want you, we 1%, you're nobody to us. And that's exactly what this proposal is saying. And that's my concern. Sometimes people are doing the bidding of the 1% whether they meant to or not. Maybe we've got a paid informant. Maybe that paid informant is not part of the 99% because they're working for the 1%. Maybe we've got someone who just keeps getting in the way and fucking our shit up so badly that they might as well be a paid informant of the 99%. And thus, by their own self-categorization, are part of the 1%. Uh, Ravi said everything I need to say. Okay, next one's back. I have two points of information, one right here. Uh, my point of information, the quick one is you can't um, kick anybody out of a public park. That's also, um, that's an obvious one. Obviously. Yeah, um, also there are very different working groups working on finding out who the infiltrators are through great uh, and anonymous. Take that, you know, anonymous how you like. But there are people working on to find out who these people actually are. So th those are just my points of information. I, I, I like the idea about a mediation process. I don't like the, I absolutely don't like the idea of just kicking somebody out. There needs to be some sort of process 
the problem with this is that you've come to us with something and you there, you don't have a, a, I mean, let's have a process. And what and what are we gonna do? How? What's your idea? How are we gonna stop them from coming to? You, you can come to a public park. Thank how you. are you gonna stop anybody from coming here and doing this? What What are our plans to stop doing that? Like you come to us with very little, and and I'm not I, I'm I'm not a, I'm not doing anything with very little. I want to know what we're how we're gonna control this. Well, how what the mediation process is. I, I'm not. I, Here's the idea. We can do very little, but the very little we can do is actually a lot. We will be refusing to give this person everything we would give to a person, someone who is part of our movement. They can come to the park. It's a public park. Anyone can be here. They can walk and they can say, I want to be on stack. And the answer is no. And they can try and yell at you. And the answer is no. The only thing they'll have is the ability to escalate and get themselves arrested. We can walk away. We cannot listen to them. As far as other things, we can deny them everything else we give them. The benefit of being on our website, the benefit of being in our housing, getting our metro cards, eating our food, sleeping in our beds. We can deny that they are us because they are not us. Okay, what so we can do to protect ourselves is walk away or not listen. But these are things that you're taught. The, what, you're, you're, I mean, your proposal is really, really vague, man. And there's like no answers to like how we're going to how we're going to handle this. And I, I don't want to, I'm not ready to... Okay, thank you. So... I'm agreeing with everything Razor said, that notwithstanding, um, you're, you're really rushing into this. Like you said, you don't have a process yet. Maybe um, in the future you can go ahead and bring that, but right now we're not ready for that, your proposal. And, and even then, and even then, we need to make it for singular people and make it non-biased with these rules of whatever you have. All right, so said, table it then. I think we have a 1% in our society that attacks the rest of civilization is because they were never called out and controlled. That's why we need to have this here within our own group. Anywhere you need to have that. It's a fact of life. We're going to move on to the consensus process, OK? So I'm going to ask if there are any stand asides. Any stand aside? Okay, we're going to Any stand aside? Are there any stand aside? No, okay. Are there any blocks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine blocks. Okay. That's fewer than I expected. Again, I will repeat that a, a block is a moral, ethical, or safety concern. And it's for the movement, for the movement as a whole. That, that, a moral, ethical, or safety concern. You got your four guys, nine, it's not eight. For the movement. And if this proposal passes, um, then you would be forced to, or you would feel compelled to leave the movement because of that. Adjust your block, please. I'm actually um, going to turn that into a stand aside because I'm not no longer going to participate in GA. Um, people who are activists are going to do their thing anyway. So, um, but my stand aside, um, you're just rushing into this. You have no process to do this, and the exclusionary thing, I shit all over it. The idea of the social contract is something that I don't necessarily agree with. It's a philosophical idea from the Enlightenment that assumes that both parties enter into um, a relationship in society with a perfect understanding of what is going on. I don't think that that's accurate. I don't agree with the use of accountability, which has been very frequent in this movement. It's something we find a lot in the business world. Accountability is a closed conversation as opposed to responsibility, which is an open conversation. I don't agree with having a systematic process that is directed towards excluding individuals. I believe in a postmodern world which would execute justice on a micro level as opposed to a macro level, and that would entail having, allowing these processes to be found when the time asserts itself, in other words, on Tuesday. There's no need to come up with this ahead of time, I think. That's the reason for my block. Okay, so before we before we move on to hear the next block, I want to state that because of the amount of people in this group right now and the amount of blocks that we have, then I can I can say right now that we're not going to reach consensus basically. So we're not going to reach mo we wouldn't be able to reach modified consensus. I would like to address all these blocks, and I'm content to table the proposal after that. It's a moral block. We have safe spaces, a working group 
of over 100 people who are working on the document addressing this issue and for this tool to be created and presented here just means that someone wants it in place for a Tuesday General Assembly to exclude more people of color. So basically, I'm a person of color and I do not do witch hunts, all right? However, this is, we have something big coming up on Tuesday. I would like to see not be a witch hunt. This was an attempt to prevent it from being a witch hunt. And I think we will all improve everything on Tuesday by discussing this now. Okay, so, so the proposer wants to hear the blocks. Does the group want to hear the blocks? Can I see a temperature check, please? If you do want to hear the blocks. You blocks, um, Chris. You don't want to hear your block? Don't say my name. I mean, Sorry, officer okay, Trish. I'm going to ask one more time if people want to hear the blocks. 